Hello everyone, welcome back to Fluffy Flamingos. Today I've got a really fun intermediate to advanced trick to show you guys and teach you guys. It's getting much colder out, so all the more reason to stay inside and practice magic. All the more reason to go to events indoors and show other people magic tricks. So don't get cocky and I guess let's just dump, jump into the performance. Alrighty guys, every deck of cards has one special card that's extra magical. And in this deck, it's the King of Hearts, which we'll leave right here for a sec. So you guys, as the spectators, can pick whatever card you'd like. Stick that back in, and then maybe give it a couple of cuts, and maybe a shuffle, and call it a day. Okay, so with this magic card, it's like a locator card. The purpose of this trick is that this magic card can find your card at any given time, and that's what makes it so so magical. So what we'll do is we'll take the King of Hearts, and you can put it in wherever you would like, and it should land next to your card. Okay? We'll block it up and cut it so that it ends up a little bit somewhere more towards the middle. And we'll flip this over and take a look at where we landed. So if we look through, around here, there we go. So which one was your guys' card? The King of Diamonds or the Four of Spades? Neither one of these cards? Okay, sometimes the King of Hearts is extra magic, and instead of landing next to your card, it becomes your card, the Four of Clubs. All right, guys, so that was the trick. Hope it was intriguing enough to stick around for the tutorial. Again, this trick is like pretty top tier intermediate end. So make sure you uh, warm up, just like every session. Crack those knuckles, get ready to flex your fingers around because it's a doozy. For this trick, you're also gonna need a gaff or a gimmicked card, which is a double facer. If you guys do not have a double facer, just tape or glue two cards back to back and you'll have a double facer right there. So I say let's dive into the tutorial section, show you guys how I did that and how you can too. Alrighty guys, so as I mentioned, uh, the secret to this trick is pretty simple. It's a double backer, or I mean double facer. <laughs> okay, so the only need, that's the only thing you need for this trick is a double facer card. It really doesn't matter which one. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering, today we're working with the Royal Reserve cards from the Republic Collection made on Illusionist. So you got your double facer, just pick a side that you want to use. So I'm going to use the King of Hearts. I'm going to leave it there. And the trick is pretty simple from here. Okay, We only have one move that's uh, a little difficult to learn with time. I might have even flashed it in the... <laughs> performance what we will see the spectators will take a random card and take a peek at it so in this case we got the five of spades and so you'll hide this into the deck and you'll do whatever you want to control this card to the bottom okay so there it is five of spades so at this point we're going to do a half pass i believe it's called so the half pass looks like this where you're taking one card flipping it upside down underneath the deck and there it is, okay? The purpose of this is that we want this to be the only card that is inverted when we cut the cards. So that way when we look through them face up, there's their card, the only face down card, and that's that. So let's talk about this half pass, okay? So the mechanics are pretty simple. You get a thumb break in the back of the cards holding their card. From here, from here your pinky's gonna pull it out and your index finger is gonna curl underneath Okay, and so your index finger and your mi middle finger are gonna pinch it, okay? So again, you got your thumb break transferred into a pinky break. Your pinky's gonna pull down, okay? Kind of like a, a book. Your index is curled underneath and your middle finger and pointer finger are going to flip it upside down, extend those fingers out, and then place it on the bottom, okay? So that's the move. At this point, the spectator will take their your card, the King of Hearts, and slip it in wherever they would like into the deck, okay? Now it's important that we cut this into the center so that their card is somewhere in the center, okay? 
So your justification for this is that you just want to center the king of hearts so we don't know where it is, okay? But we're blocking it, we're making multiple thick packets so that when we find it, it will still be next to the same cards, okay? You'll flip the deck over and you'll spread through. And so the double facer that we're looking for right here is the king of hearts. But because it's a double facer, you'll pass by it and no one will be the wiser. You get to the first and only face down card in the deck, and it will be next to two random cards that are not their cards. So you ask them which one is their card, and they'll be like, neither. You're so stupid. And uh, with the utmost forgiveness, you will pull out the card and explain to them that sometimes the magical card of the King of Hearts will transform into the Five of Spades, into their card. So something that I would give a tip for in this trick, which I did not do in the performance, is that I would look for the King of Hearts and for the Ten of Spades. I would take these two cards and I would pull them out before doing the trick. So that way, with the double facer, you won't have two of the same card anywhere by mistake. And that's, that's it. The tip is pretty simple. So that is it for the tutorial. Uh, we can do one more real quick rundown, um, but it's not too difficult. It's not insanely hard. So let's just grab our double facer. Your double facer, explain one side and say that this card is the magic card in the deck because most decks come with a magical card that can do something that the rest of them can't. In this case, it is a homing beacon. It will find out where your card is in the deck. So the spectator grabs a random card and take a look, it's the Black Joker. And you can do whatever method of controlling you would like to the bottom. Okay, there it is. And from here, you're gonna do the half pass. So your fingers are gonna pull it open like a book and your fingers will, will curl, extend, and place. Okay, this takes a lot of practice to be pretty silent and pretty not flashy. So in the performance, I believe I went to the side and did it over here, okay? Don't know if that actually helped anything on camera. I have a huge microphone like blocking the LCD screen so I cannot see, but that's what I did in the performance. So I went to the side and did the half pass underneath. And then the spectator will take the card, put it in wherever they'd like, cut that into the deck, and now their card should be in the middle. Flip everything face up, look for the face down card and there you go which one is yours neither pull it out what do you know it's theirs so that is the trick all right guys so that's the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was a lot of fun you guys were able to get the inner move monkey out um <clears throat> i did want to talk about a few things before i sign off today first being is that i'm sorry for missing this last weekend i know it's a couple days late and it didn't mean to be um, filming just dragged a lot and then I was in a car accident yesterday. Um, I was gonna premiere it late yesterday, but um, stuff happened. I'm fine. The car has minor cosmetic damages. All of my passengers were fine and the people that hit us were fine. It took a toll on me and I didn't really want to go home after that. I stayed at a friend's house until today. So that's why I'm uploading late. The other thing is that this channel is coming to a close very soon here. If I have my calculations right, right now we are on episode 18, so we just did 18 out of 30. We got 30 episodes this season, and I kind of already hinted to what episodes are coming up, but it is starting to become really real for me, and uh, it kind of sucks. But when something ends and changes, there's always something that comes anew and replaces it and oftentimes is much better. So I wanted to announce here first for all of my faithful viewers that when this show is over in 12 episodes that Fluffy Flamingos is done. I will no longer be teaching magic on YouTube and kind of like my vlogging aspect will be done as well. I want to focus on big projects, big films, and for 2023, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will keep you guys updated as much as possible on my next project, a sitcom written by me and my friend, and we're going to be casting ourselves as characters, 
get more into that technical filmmaking aspect, into acting, which I've always really loved doing. It's just gonna be a lot of fun. I'm extremely excited for this project, and uh, ugh, I'm debating if I wanna tell you guys the synopsis, because it's a little early on in the stages right now. Maybe as we get closer to the end, we'll talk about what this show will be, but it is a sitcom, it is coming out next year, and it will start after Fluffy Flamingo ends. We are debating on when we are going to release this show because it's going to be pretty short and sweet, like one season possibly. But this was supposed to be a personal project for me and my friends so that we didn't really care about copyright, music, or anything. So if we do end up publishing this online, we will have to go through the show and replace soundtracks and things like that. So it might take a second if we decide to upload this to the channel. So it might take a second if we decide to publish this somewhere. but. If you guys are interested in me publishing this, let me know in the comments below so I have some feedback on whether you guys even care or not. But that is it for this video. That is it for the updates as well. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Fluffy Flamingos.